If you're anything like me, you probably have a ton of Docker containers running, and it might be hard to keep track of all the ports that you've mapped to all those Docker containers. This is what DocPeak is for. DocPeak is a Docker port dashboard for easy container access that gives you the ports that you've published, the names of the containers, links to the GitHub repository, shows whether or not your containers need updates. Let's go ahead and show you how to get this installed on Dockage today. Let's jump over to my Dockage page and start a new Docker Compose file, and I'm going to call this DocPeak. I'm going to go ahead and remove all this placeholder information here and jump over to the wiki. Here I'm going to type in docpeak and go right to the page. I'm going to go ahead and grab a copy of this docker compose file, go back to my dockage instance and paste it in. You'll notice it doesn't require any volume so we don't need to create any data sets for it. Let's go ahead and deploy this. Let's go ahead and jump into the port. The default login for the username and password is admin admin. Now we're in docpeak and we can see the dashboard. The first thing we're greeted with is the ability to search for a container directly. So if I search for something like watchtower, I can see that the watchtower container is here and it's up and running. I can go ahead and hit escape and it'll clear my search. If there are any updates available, I can go ahead and click this over and we can see the filter has shown us there is no containers with updates available. I can go ahead and check for updates manually if I want by clicking this button. We can see here that all my containers are up to date. Just a note, this just shows me if updates are available. This container does not actually update any containers or volumes on the system, so you're safe to go ahead and check for updates without worrying about breaking anything. Let's take a look at this dashboard. We can sort by any one of these columns, by the name, which is what is default sorted as right now alphabetically, the stack that it's in, the ports that are exposed, because all these other containers are turned off, we don't see them. Let's go ahead and start the R stack and look at the ports that are exposed. Now that the R stack is running, let's go ahead and refresh this page. We can see now that we have a lot more ports running. So these are all my exposed ports for all the R containers. I can click these ports directly and go right to the container itself. Also, I can see which image I'm pulling for radar. So in this case, it's the Linux server version of radar. And if I go ahead and hit this little link, I'll jump right to the GitHub page that shows me the Linux server.io repository for the radar instance that I'm using. We can see here all these containers are now running and all these containers show exited and some of these show just created and healthy. I cannot start or stop containers from here. I think this is a super useful tool. I've got a lot of containers running. This is just the test instance that I have. On my actual production instance, I have 60 or 70 something containers going. So for me, this is a must have. The ability to just type in a container name quickly and sort right to it, show updates that are available or jump right into a GitHub page that I may have forgotten about or maybe I lost the link is absolutely indispensable. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think this needs more features or if you like the feature set that it has right now. Give us a like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the big thumbs up under this video. If you want to talk to us about this even more, go ahead and jump on the Servers at Home Discord. And if you want to thank me personally, please buy me a coffee.